Hello first graders. Today is week eight, day one, but if you are following along on our three weeks of instruction, it is week two, day one, in our yellow packet. So we are now working out of our yellow packet. See how I color coordinated yellow to yellow, just so that there's no confusion. Um, I know that we skipped day five, um, so you'll notice we've skipped day five. The only reason we did that as a first grade team, we just decided that uh, we wanted to start the week where Monday is day one, Tuesday's two, Wednesday's three, Thursday's four, Friday's five. It just kind of gets us right back on schedule, makes it a little bit more organized and easier to follow. Uh, so we are on week two, Day one, starting our yellow packet, okay? So for math today, we have measurement and tally marks. And boys and girls, you guys are actually going to be able to do these two worksheets fairly easy and fairly quickly, okay? So it is measurement with cubes. First one, measurement with cubes. It says directions, measure the objects by counting the number of cubes. Easy enough. This fishing pool, let's figure out how long it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It is seven cubes long, so I would write seven over there. Um, I don't think I need to go through any more of these with you. I think it's fairly simple, easy directions to follow. Uh, just go ahead and label how many cubes is each, our, er, is each of these objects. Okay, so now next we have practice counting tallies. Now remember when we count tallies, uh, this was a skill we learned very early in the year. Uh, maybe you guys haven't been counting tallies very much lately, uh, but that's okay. I'm just going to give you guys a quick review. So when we do tallies, you count up, it's one, two, three, four, and then you have to close the gate on five. So if you see a closed gate, that is a group of five tallies, which means that we can count by fives. Um, anytime you see gates, you want to start counting by fives, right? Because it's a lot easier when we can skip count rather than counting every number out. Um, if I see this, instead of saying one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it's a lot faster to just say five and then count the extras. So five, six, seven. So I have seven tallies. And then you have 13. So we could try 13. Instead of going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, we can skip count by fives. So we go five, ten, count the extras, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So boys and girls, you'll find that this is really just a review. Uh, you're practicing those skills that you learned early on in the year. Um, it's great to do this because these are going to be things that you're actually probably going to start the year off in second grade. Um, second grade, you're just going to review a lot of what you did in first grade, those first few weeks of school, just so you're fresh with them. Um, so I think your second grade teachers are going to notice if you come in with these strong skills and you're ready to go. Okay, uh, so that's it for today's math. All right, we'll see you tomorrow, boys and girls.